What up everybody, it's Master Aquatics bringing you guys another video. I know it's been a while since you guys have seen the 125 gallon tank, but here it is. As you can see, what I did different was I decided to just put everything straight in the middle. I put a big piece of driftwood right here and I had to weigh it down with all the rocks and I decided to just have one center piece and the rest is all open. It's all wide open. So uh, yeah, so this is the new design for the 125 gallon tank. I've still got all my fish in here. I still got the stubborn gold pan fish here that doesn't want to eat. Um, hopefully he'll eat now since I got some new fish, uh, some feeder fish. Uh, the catfish and the crawfish, they're all hiding down here. Uh, hopefully here in a second they will come out and eat. Um, I haven't fed these guys, I just came back from work. So I'm gonna go ahead and feed these guys. Let me go ahead and show you guys what I'm going to feed them. I got about a hundred of these rosy red minnows in here. If you don't believe me, go ahead and count them up for yourself. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and just throw them in there and let them have a feeding frenzy. Unfortunately, it looks like the, some of them are dying. They, these guys die real easily in a bag. And I have no idea why PetSmart jammed them all in one bag. But I'm gonna go ahead and quickly release these guys and get these guys fed. Hopefully the majority of these guys are still alive. It is time to feed my little babies. Alright guys, check it out. A hundred rosy red minnows. It doesn't look like it, but I promise you. That's what I got here. And, wow, it looks like a lot of them die. Holy crap. As usual, this one's not eating. I'm not interested at all. And, let's see. Anybody eating here? All right, so far nobody's eating. But some of these guys are definitely interested. Oh, oh, we're getting some action over here. That guy definitely just chewed on that one a little bit. Look at his face. <laughs> Sorry for the shakiness, guys. This one's freaking out. It's so funny because they're all taking cover in there, but they don't even know the danger that waits for them in there. There's a crawfish in there that's gonna eat these guys. Get him, get him, get him, get him. All right, well, wah, wah, wah. I don't think these guys are gonna eat. The ones that are eating are hiding behind the driftwood. Unfortunately, I can't get any shots because my tank is painted. So I might take off this black paint here. But, uh, he's eyeing them, but he's not going for them. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Look at that, guys, look at that. Yo, he got him. That's crazy. That guy's a beast. Well, that guy's gonna have a, a full stomach here. This guy is wanting bug bites. He's like, yo, I'm not a cannibal. I don't eat other fish. Where are the bug bites at? It's funny, because uh, when as soon as I turn off these lights, the majority of these rosy red minnows are gonna be gone. In the next three days, I won't have a single one. That's how it works. He's swallowing that one for sure. All right, so I'm gonna let these guys eat. I do have a new fish that I'm gonna show you guys. Before I do that, I'm gonna give you guys an update on my angelfish tank. All right, guys, this is my 75 gallon angelfish planted tank. Not only do I have angelfish in here, but I also have some wild guppy fish or minnows or mosquito fish, whatever you guys want to call them. Hopefully you guys can see them better that way. But yeah, I still got my uh, platinum marble over here. I still got my kois, uh, my silvers. I still got my baby angelfish. And I still got my baby bluegill. He's uh, having no problems hanging out with the uh, angelfish. And also, if you look at this minnow right here, you'll see a black dot on their stomach. I believe that means that they are pregnant. 
So that minnow is going to give birth pretty soon, which I'm excited for. I'm kind of worried because I'm pretty sure as soon as uh, she gives birth, she's going to have her babies eaten by my angelfish because these guys are piggies. Um, not much has really changed here. Uh, I cleaned out my filter the other day. I also got rid of the uh, coral background that I had it there for the longest time. I finally got rid of it. And my sponge filters are kind of working again. That one's working, but that sponge filter on the left is not working for, for whatever reason. Uh, there might be something wrong with the air pump. This happens to me all the time. If someone can tell me how to stop that from happening, please let me know. I'm gonna go ahead and feed these guys some flakes just to show you guys that they're doing well. By the way guys, if you don't know already, Tetra Flakes is one of the best flakes to feed your fish. I highly recommend it. If you wanna buy some for yourself, link to Amazon to get these is down below. Make sure you check it out. Let's go ahead and feed these guys. All right guys, here we go. Pinch of flakes. You hear the little smack, smack, smack. They are eating that stuff up. Everybody's getting in on the action. Everybody's eating. I probably didn't throw in enough. Yeah, let me throw in a little bit more. Let's see. Here we go. Eat up my little friends. Eat up my little friends. These guys are so happy in here. All right, and so that's pretty much it for the 75 gallon tank. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what new fish that I got from the pet store. Check it out guys, check it out. What is that guys? Can you guys tell me what that is? I think these are called the Pick this catfish. Let me just give you guys a better look. That thing is so awesome looking. I can't wait till he meets my other catfish that's in here. Looks like he's doing okay. And as usual, I think he's trying to hide. He's trying to find a uh, hiding spot. Where are you gonna go, buddy? Where are you gonna go? All the panfish are looking at him, deciding whether or not if he's dinner or not. What an awesome looking guy. Let me know what you guys think of the new catfish. And uh, let me know what else you guys want me to stock in here. My name is Master Aquatics. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care and bye bye. I also forgot to mention guys, I did create some t-shirts. I'm not asking you to buy them. If you do decide to buy any t-shirts, I'll greatly appreciate it. It'll help me and the channel. And if you, if you do buy one and you want me to shout you out, leave a comment down below letting me know that you bought one. Um, all I ask is that you guys spend like five seconds just to look at the designs that I made for these t-shirts. I spent a lot of time making a lot of different designs and colors and variations of the t-shirts. I just would really like some feedback and just let me know what you guys think of the designs on the t-shirts. Again, if you decide to buy some of the merch that I created, I just want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. I really appreciate it. It'll help me and it'll really help me um, create more videos by a lot, not just by a little bit, by a lot. Um, so that's pretty much it. And hopefully you guys like the new fish that I put in here. Hopefully he does well. If you guys have any feedback on the fish that I got, please let me know as well. Tell me what you guys think. My name is Master Aquatics and again, I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care and bye bye, for real this time.